comments. We also know that companies can't sit still and need to constantly adapt. We are providing the tools to enable the configuration control of processes through workflow in this I've release. I've looked up here as Nancy the sales representative. I'm going to go into our new expense management module and enter a simple expense. This process is driven by workflow. The workflow engine that we've embedded in this release is the Windows workflow engine which is a core.NET component. You'll see some of the great features like the importing of credit card which enables me to reconcile transactions to save me rekeying. I'm going to enter a simple expense line, in this case a hotel. The reason for doing this is to show you the work that we've done in embedding a policy engine. I'm going to enter a large amount, in this case $600, and I'm just going to accept that. Now I have to go and itemize this. I can enter the number of nights and then I'll itemize. Now the key here is, is that you'll see that this triggers the policy engine. In Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 we embed a policy engine so you can see here a simple condition editor to enable me to enter the hotel line to check the values above $300. This enables companies to add new policies, change existing ones without needing a developer. Now I can accept this and this is where I can submit it to the workflow. Now you'll see if I switch across to Kevin, Nancy's manager, you'll see directly on Kevin's role center, in this case the sales manager, I can deal with the approval process. I can simply click on the transaction and approve. I can preview it for additional details. I can drill into the actual header, look at the history, or simply approve it directly from here. We believe this will enable companies to grow by allowing the system to coordinate and control transactions between employees. The other benefit that we think companies will take from the workflow engine is the history and audit capabilities. If I drill into this expense transaction which is approved, you can see that I can drill into the history, I can see the exact sequence of what happened to it, I can see the approval, who actioned the approval, and when, and the specific comments. Compliance is also about documenting procedures for external parties. I'm logged on here as Sarah, the CFO, and I can go into my Compliance Center. We are introducing the Compliance Center, which is a SharePoint application that enables the tracking of process documentation. From here, I can configure my internal control environment, and I can edit my document templates. My templates, you can see here the process, the risks, the control I put in place, and how I test that control. You'll see if I switch across to some of the already documented controls. For example, vendor disbursements. You can see the documentation, for example, of how I do workflow approval. I can drill into here and I can see the process involved in who reviewed and who signed off this procedure. You will notice down the bottom of the procedure I can actually enter evidence via a URL or attach my documentation associated with this control. In this release we are providing an integrated task recorder that makes it very easy to record processes in the business application. I can simply turn this on, record a task, and then export the documentation. You'll see here the recorded tasks. If I pick, for example, the AP parameter one, I can generate a document. So you will see here the document open and the screens captured from the business application. In this demonstration, you would have seen the fundamental work that we have done in this release to implement a new workflow engine and how it can be used to coordinate transactions between employees and also how the policy engine and expense management can be used to control internal compliance to policies. You have also seen the work we have done to provide new tools like the Compliance Center to help companies manage the documentation process around regulatory compliance. As businesses expand globally, so too do the complexities of managing accurate business insight and standardizing operations across multiple locations. Let me show you how Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 can enable organizations to compete globally. Microsoft Dynamics AX has advanced localization capabilities to enable companies to run in a single instance. We added new languages with our Unicode support in Microsoft Dynamics AX 4. You can see here the UI in simplified Chinese. In this release, we've done the last technical features we needed to support any language. We've added bi-directional language support. You can see here the UI in Arabic. This enables us to support companies that want to expand into new markets, but enable them to simplify their systems deployment, but get greater visibility across their operations. 
In this release we've made massive advances in our functional footprint. We have added multi-site support. I can drill into the locations view which enables me to see my company structure and then I can drill in I can see my site structure. From here I can maintain my warehouses and my production units. For documentation purposes I can export this to Visio. I want to point out another important feature that we've added in this release, which is time zone support. For single instance deployments, this allows users to run in their own time zone back to a central server. This is a very important feature for accurate calculation of customer shipments and goods inbounds to the warehouse. We've done the hard work to enable the use of multi-site across the entire application, for example in master planning and production, but we've also enabled it across other functionality like available to promise for example. If I go into a sales order, you'll notice that if I pick up a specific sales order, you'll notice the site that's associated with the sales order line. I can go into the inquiries and have a look at the available to promise functionality. You'll see that I don't actually have stock in this specific location. Now the operator can directly from the sales order change to a different site and calculate the available promise and actually see that the stock available are on a different site. This enables you to keep the customer happy and make the sale by providing visibility into the supply chain. With multi-site capabilities, the time zone support, localization and language support, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 provides the capabilities to run single instance deployments to help reduce costs but increase visibility across the supply chain and help companies that are competing in a global marketplace.